Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're talking about a new update from Universe Sandbox Square Team that actually added some really cool uh, new simulations. Specifically, one that I was actually just planning to release myself and they beat me to it. Anyway, welcome to the Math. So, one of the new simulations in Universe Sandbox Square is this uh, really well-designed Alpha Centauri and Proxima Centauri systems with uh, also the planetary bodies in them. So, here we have the um, Proxima Centauri B orbiting around Proxima Centauri and another object uh, orbiting around Alpha Centauri that hasn't really been officially proven just yet. We think it might have been just a... Um, a statistical anomaly in the data. But this is not what we're here. We're going to be exploring some of the cooler features in Universe Sandbox. And one of the coolest one I gotta tell you is this. They actually added the Tesla Roadster simulation, including uh, the launch itself and um, basically the progress and the flight and so on. And look at that, they even added an actual Tesla Roadster model into the game. That's absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, I believe there's no pilot in there. Uh, yeah, so the uh, car is driven by nobody. Not exactly the most realistic, of course, but you can't, uh, you can't uh, look a gifted horse in the mouth, right? As they say. Anywho, moving on, uh, the other, there's actually two simulations. Uh, the other one is the more realistic now simulation. So since I'm, I'm filming this on March uh, the 8th, this is exactly where Tesla Roadster is right now. And what's really cool about this is that it uses the mathematical analysis to predict where Tesla Roadster is going to be. So we can actually now relatively accurately and when I say we, I mean you, can I relatively accurately predict where Tesla Roadster is going to be in the next hundreds, possibly thousands of years. We're going to do this on one of the future videos because even though I did take a look at this, um, I did make slight miscalculations based on the fact that we didn't really know the most accurate uh, parameters of Tesla Roadster just yet. And here you can actually do it really accurately by using Universe Sandbox. Anywho. Now, moving on to the next simulation they added, and that's actually one of the videos I did make uh, previously, the solar system with no sun. So what would happen to our solar system if there was no sun? Now you can find out by basically running this and uh, or watching the video I made previously. As you can pr probably imagine, nothing good. Things just fly away and Earth becomes super, super, super cold. Now, this is still not a cool simulation. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of upset at the coolest simulation because it's the video I was working on for the past week and a half and they totally beat me to it. So I'm going to be making a video about it, but uh, fortunately for me, they did make a few miscalculations in their analysis. It's this one here, Ultimate Engineered Solar System. Now, this is actually a really cool uh, article I recently read as well. Um, and this is uh, a simulation by astronomer Sean Raymond, who uh, in his blog basically created this... Um, ultimate earth uh, simulation or in a sense ultimate habitable system simulation where he placed um seven layers of 52 planets around our solar system luckily for me though this is not exactly the best simulation so i'm going to start posting the series a little bit sooner than i wanted to because these guys just beat me to it now here's why it's not perfect the sizes of the planets are not exact and also some of the orbital parameters here are just a little bit off. We're gonna do this a little bit more precisely using the um, calculations from the paper that Sean Raymond did discuss in his analysis. And we're going to do this uh, by ourselves. And now uh, you can follow along in the video that will be released most likely tomorrow. Anyway, so these are the main uh, basically additions to the game and it has become really, really complex. The, the bugs has, uh, have also been fixed, some of the bugs at least. And uh, there's so many new things that are being added every single time. Uh, th these are the biggest updates. There are obviously more. But this one here kind of both made me happy and sad because on one uh, hand, I was working on this video for such a long time. And on the other hand, um, it's kind of cool that they, they actually thought exactly the same thing as I did and re uh, realized that adding this simulation into the game was kind of cool. 
Anyway, so if you still haven't purchased the Universe Sandbox, check out the link below. Um, it's, it's a pretty cool simulation. Obviously, it's not something that has any kind of a gameplay uh, other than what you make out of it. There's no storyline here, but it is an amazing, amazing um, end body simulation that simulates the universe very well. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to start this series where I'm going to explore this in more detail, starting from scratch. And we're going to do the math behind it as well, so you get to learn how all of this is done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye-bye. And for another simulation, what if we removed the sun from here? Huh? Did you think about that, Universe Sunbox Square team? Did you? I'm sure you actually did. And I I'm sorry for making fun of you. You guys are awesome. And three, two, one, kablooey. And look at that. All of my beautiful Earths that are technically not even Earths are going to slowly very slowly fly away into the abyss of infinity and i just realized even the supernova look slightly better than before i didn't actually read all of the um updates just yet but it looks like even the supernova are more beautiful and it looks like our earth sort of disappeared they're all i think they're all just kind of evaporated so much for that